Let's learn how to use Google Sheets to make a nice bar chart or column chart. Start by logging into your Google account and opening Google Sheets. If you already have a document that you want to work on, that is fine. You can choose that document. Otherwise, you can choose a blank document. I'm going to choose a spreadsheet I've worked on earlier, and we're just going to make a brand new sheet on here, which we'll use for an example sheet. For this column chart that we're going to make, we're going to make a column chart of how many people in various countries, and we'll be able to see by comparing the columns how similar the numbers are. So let's start with a new sheet, and let's name that sheet by double-clicking on it, country populations. On our sheet, it's nice to have some sort of a heading on there. So why don't you put in your first and last name? And then beneath that, why don't we give it a little title? So country populations. Beneath that, let's go ahead and put in just the date. For example, October 3rd, 2027, or whatever year it is for you right now, and date. I'm going to magnify this just a little bit so it's a little bit easier to read. We're going to have two columns, and the first column will be the name of the country, so we can just call that column country, and we'll just put the names right down here. Next to that, we'll put population. So let's choose some countries. For example, if you live in the United States, you could choose United States, maybe the neighboring, neighboring countries of Canada and Mexico, perhaps some of the countries with the largest populations in the world, China, India, and Russia, which is also considered one of the very large countries. Of course, it's up to you which ones you choose, but it would probably be a good idea if you just followed along with this video, try to make it exactly the same, and then, of course, you can, once you've learned your skills, you can do whatever you want in your next tries. Okay, so population, a good way to ch look up population would be to go to Wikipedia. So if you simply open a new tab, Wikipedia population countries would probably do it. Wikipedia population countries. Remember, you can always pause and rewind this video. Um, you can even adjust the speed if that's available on your player. List of countries and dependencies by population. That looks like that'll be a very useful website. List of countries by population. List of countries and ter territories by population density. Let's go with that first one. And we're searching for the various countries. Um, looks like we have some recent estimates for 2017. And we're just going to use those numbers to populate our sheet here. So I'm just going to put those two windows side by side. And we'll start with the United States population. Three two five eight six two zero zero zero. Now, since populations, this page is probably going to be updated a lot. If your numbers are different from my numbers, that is fine. You can choose. Just either choose to follow along with my numbers or use your own numbers. Either way is going to work just fine. Uh, let's see. Canada. Well, Canada certainly is not one of the top countries there, but there it is. Many countries have more people living in them than Canada. Mexico, well, that was around 150 million if I remember correctly. 123 million, 364,426. Interesting that the United States has round numbers and Mexico had an exact number. Not sure who exactly has been updating this page, but that's interesting anyway. Okay, China, 1 billion people, 386,690,000. Uh, 
India one billion three hundred twenty two thousand. That's interesting. I think India's population has been increasing recently, um, faster than China's, it looks like. And Russia, 146,809,643. Okay, so we have our countries with the populations. Of course, it's um, up to you which countries you choose, but again, if you follow along with this video, that might be the easiest way to learn what you're hoping to learn here. Now, one very useful thing when you're making a table is being able to sort. And so I'm going to show you how to sort this list. We could sort the list alphabetically by country or um, the opposite of alphabetically by country. We could also do it by population from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So we have four choices on the sorting. To sort, first we need to select the area that we want to sort. So click and hold on country, pull your mouse over to the population of Russia in cell B11. When you do that, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be a light blue probably with a blue line around the outside. Now, don't panic if you don't get it right the first time. Sometimes you just have to try it again from a different corner of the box. And once you get all those cells selected, now we can sort the list. Sorting is in one of the menus here, or it might be under More. I don't see it under More, so let's go up to the menu. I would guess that's under Data, because it's data is information. And there it is, Sort, and we can do a couple things. We can sort the entire sheet, but I certainly don't want the heading here to be sorted, so I'm not going to sort the entire sheet. Sort the range. So we have a range selected, and we can sort by column A, A to Z, column A, Z to A. Well, why don't we try it? Let's sort range column A, A to Z. Oh, well, I don't know if that's what we want, because notice here country has been sorted along with population. That is really not what we want. We want it to ignore and not sort our top line there. So let's click undo or hold control and then press the Z and see if there's another choice. Well, one way to do it, of course, would be not to include those in our selection. And then we should be able to sort OK, but I think there might be a way to do it anyway. So let's click on data and go down to sort range. So this is in this menu, it's the fifth option. And here it says sort range of A5 through B11. Data has header row. And that's what we have. We have a header row at the top there. So we need to select data has header row. And now notice when we do that, instead of just saying column A, it changes it to country because we're sorting by country. Or we can sort by population, which is what we chose for column B. We also have the choice to sort from A to Z or from Z to A. So first let's try to do it just alphabetically by country. So we should have data row selected and we should have it sort by country A to Z and click sort. So now it should say Canada, China, India, Mexico, Russia, and United States. Now let's try sorting by population going from the largest to the smallest. So click on data, again sort range, and the data does have a header, and we want to sort by population, not country, and then we want it to go from the largest to the smallest. I'm believing that's going to be descending, getting smaller, descending. But let's find out. And there it is. Yes, so we have the largest population, China, then India, all the way down to the smallest population of the countries we selected was Canada. Another thing we might want to do is to put some commas in here. Now we can do that, um, you know, to separate the millions and the billions and the thousands. That would be nice. So let's highlight this selection, or better yet, let's select the entire column by clicking on B. 
Now the reason we're going to click on B is because suppose we add a couple more rows here. We want the commas to still show up without us having to go through this step all again. Up on the top row here, you'll notice there's a decrease in increased decimal places. Now those might be helpful sometimes. If you click increase decimal places, of course it'd show point. Um, but really there's not points of people, parts of people. We just count a person if they're living and there we go. To add the commas, let's see, would that be a percentage? No. A currency? No. So let's go up to formatting and see if there's an option for numbers that will give us some commas. It looks to me like right now it's set to the automatic formatting. But what happens if we change it to number formatting? There are a lot of choices below here, but I think this one might do it. So click on it and you'll see there we go, we have number formatting. I notice this column is not quite wide enough to display all the zeros that are in there. There are a couple ways to fix that. One way I like to fix is just double click right here. <clears throat> and when you double click it'll make the column a tiny bit wider. Now let's get rid of all the double zeros there by decreasing our decimal places. And there we go. Hey, let's do two more things before we make our chart. The first thing, let's change this into bold and centered. So let's see, I click on row five and then click B for bold and go to the more selection and go ahead and center that. All right, so now we are going to make this into a column chart. Well, how do we do that? Again, you start by selecting all of the information you want to be in the column chart, including your header row. Then we need to find the chart button, which is underneath more sometimes, other times you might find it along the toolbar, or you can go to insert chart. So I'm gonna go to insert chart and let's see what we get. Looks like we're going to need to, I'm going to need to zoom out just a little bit so you can see that entire chart. Let's see, zooming out just a little bit. There we go. Maybe one more. Oh, that was okay. So here's our chart. It says population versus country. We have all our countries along the bottom, and we have a key on the side that says population. Now let's see if there's anything we could do to improve this chart. First of all, I think we should get rid of that key because every single bar is the same color. So same population here and same population here and same population here. This is kind of redundant or repetitive. So let's see if we can remove the key by going to customize. Legend or key would be the same thing. Right now it says the legend is on the right hand side, but we can set it for none. And then this chart will be able to get a little bit bigger. See how that got a little bit bigger there? Now another thing I think would be nice is if we had some more lines through here so it's easier to read, like, uh, you know, what exactly is Russia? Imagine we, um, imagine that we were printing out this chart. The printed chart would not have exact numbers on it, but if we had some lines across and some more numbers over here, that might be helpful. So let's see if we can find that. Let's go to the bottom to grid lines and add some lines here. It would be nice if we had lines for every 100 million because right now we are going to 500 million and then a billion and then one and a half billion. So let's choose major grid line count and instead of having just three grid lines across, let's change it to 10 and see how that looks. Now we have 200,000, 400,000, 600,000. That looks pretty good. Now we could even add lines in between minor grid lines that do not have numbers on the left. So let's choose minor grid lines of one and now we have lines all the way across. That's looking really good. Let's put this on its own sheet. So click the X up here and to move this to its own sheet, click the little corner and say move to its own sheet. And then now that it's on its own sheet, let's change this to country chart. And there we go. So we have our table, which we created. We did some sorting, putting commas and things like that. And we have our country chart. Now you should give it a try too. Try out making a nice column chart with Google Sheets.